What is going on, everyone? We're going to be taking a look at the new physical path to power, Kid Goku and Goku's family, Extreme Super Battle Road. Uh, this is a fairly easy stage. I got my no item run on it, I think, on the first try uh, with a pretty similar team to this. Uh, there's not really a good 200% Goku's family lead at the moment, uh, so I'm kind of splitting it up between the 180 lead for the EZA Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Cell Saga Goku slash Gohan friend. Um, not really Link leveled super high. I guess I can try to find a different one. Let's see what we got here. It's a little better. Got a 90% one that's full level 10 links. I kind of like the spread on that. Uh, I guess we'll go with them. We'll save the rainbow, I guess, for later. So, you know, I've got Kid Gohan here. He's going to provide nice defensive support. And uh, he also has All in the Family, which is great. Um, you know, 20% defense for that Kid Goku if I can get them next to each other. Uh, I don't anticipate too many issues with this. Uh, let's go ahead and hop in. All right, just want to make sure I have the active skill skips off. Okay. All right, let's hop in. So we got King Vegeta and Prince Vegeta. <laughs> So, uh, this god, Goku, everybody knows, is super nice. You can just throw him in slot one. I'll just make this the rotation here. And we want to keep that King Vegeta alive longer since... Well, I guess they're both pure Saiyans, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just get him his two rainbow orbs. Let's make sure you get a stack. And... Let's just see if we can kill Prince Vegeta. Uh, so I've been using this Kid Goku a lot. I've really enjoyed him. Uh, yeah, I posted a ton of videos yesterday using him in the red zone. A lot of those. There, there were some issues going on yesterday. So, uh, if you're watching those and you're like, what the heck is he thinking? You know, it's just... I just know that I wasn't actually thinking. So there's God Goku just tanking everything. Um, probably could have put this Goku in slot one and gotten a bit more damage out of him, but... You know, if you played Super Battle Road long enough, you know that, you know, slot one, attack one is usually the uh, the killer super attack. And uh, did not really want to press my luck there. But we got this you know, ultimate Gohan or Gohan team at the moment. Just absolutely incredible unit. Just holding up years later. So we were able to take out Kid Vegeta. Uh, we can probably just put Goku in slot one here. Well, I'm kid Goku. They're all, they're all Goku. Um, he should be fine. Let's see if we can get him just seven orbs. I was also, I forgot yesterday whenever I was doing the showcase, I thought you needed eight orbs for the 8% damage reduction, but it's just seven. So, it doesn't look like we can get him seven here. Let's see, that's three rainbow feasters. Let's go with that. And then we can get the reds. And then we can get the AGL orbs with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And I think we're just uh, out of this phase. So, a well, pretty easy first fight here. This, Like I said, this Super Battle Road stage was not very hard. I don't even think it's necessarily the units you have available. The stage just does not feel hard. I know whenever I was doing my Vegeta family run, of course the roster is much more limited. But there are good units on that team that can you know, hold up well. But I know I had a lot more trouble getting the no-item run on that stage than I did on this one. So. Goku. I don't even think he needs a crit. I think he should just finish it off here. Yeah. So, there's Kid Goku. I mean, we didn't really get to see him do much on that turn, but he did help us win. I mean, the Rainbow Orb creation alone is enough for him to warrant a place on any team you can put him on. Uh, his own team is really good. I wasn't sure if I was able to build a good enough team to jump in here with just his team. I kind of looked at it, but I didn't really look at it too long. And I just figured, hey, you know, why not just run it with the Goku family leads and get some more characters in here. Um, one thing about his team, I was looking at it, in Golden Frieza, I realized, is not on Exploding Rage, which is really odd to me, being as he you know, blows up a planet in his defeat against Goku and Vegeta. So that's just really odd to me that he wasn't on here. You know, I, I don't really 
see the reasoning behind that, but I guess there have been worse omissions from categories. So let's go ahead and float off Kid Gohan. And let's try to get rid of Trunks, or at least lock him down, because that's the one I'm worried about taking out Gohan. I'm not too worried about Vegeta supering him or doing too much damage to him since he has Gohan as type advantage. And it will actually be true type advantage since uh, they're both super class. So that's nice. We don't have to worry about type or class disadvantage here. Let's go ahead and take out Trunks. And just for good measure, let's make sure we get him out of here. Kind of save these purple orbs for next turn. Hopefully Goku doesn't change those into rainbow key spheres. So yeah, let me know if you guys um, are enjoying the microphone or if you just want me to turn it back off. And, you know, I get it. I'm probably not the most interesting person to listen to. And over when I was watching that the first video I did on the bingo, and I was just listening to myself say, ooh, constantly. It's like, okay, nobody, nobody's listening to this and enjoying it. But, you know, if you are, let me know. I appreciate it. Um, you know, if the mic's too high, if the audio is not balanced well, let me know. I can try to fix it. I am by no means an expert at this. I am a, you know, I may not sound like it, but I am 100 years old, so technology does not it works super well for me all the time. I'm not a grand guru wizard of you know, being able to set up everything perfectly. Everything I'm doing is pretty uh, bare bones in terms of setup here, so I'll do what I can, though. Eef. I'm glad we sealed trunks, because 138k there was not very kind. Um, we're in a much better situation this turn because we have all in the family active. I kind of want to put Goku in slot 1 just to see how he'll do. Um, and we can get the orbs with them. So, you know, why not? We can get three rainbow orbs. That's, that'll be 29% damage reduction since we're also getting the, you know, 10 key spheres in addition, which you only need seven, but... So, let's go ahead and do that. I think we'll just keep piling on Trunks. We want to keep him, or we want to keep the Vegeta alive the longest since we have God Goku on the team. So, uh, for real this time. Go and get these blue key spheres, and then we can get the red with go with the exchange Goku and Gohan. Let's see how he holds up here in slot one. Double digits. All right, that's you know. I expect nothing less of this card. It's a very good unit. I did forget to check his defense after we collected the ten key spheres, but I mean, I mean, obviously it was good enough to take double digits from type disadvantage in Super Battle World or Extreme Super Battle World. So that's pretty good. So I did build my Goku full dodge. It hasn't really come through super well yet, but that's just an insurance policy for the future. And uh, you know, he, I get the crits and additionals enough that I haven't really wanted to put more points into that or regret it yet. But I do wish that the dodges would start coming through at some point. So we'll see. Looks like we're gonna take out Trunks here. And hopefully we get the stun on Vegeta, and then we can just get out of this phase. Perfect. So we we'll should be able to take him out this next turn and just walk on out of here. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's see. Let's give you the yellow orbs here. All right. Uh, we may not kill him this turn. We may get one more turn of Kid Goku, which would be nice. I don't think we've taken enough hits to get his active skill. I think we need to get hit, like... I don't remember what it is off the check. It might be seven or eight times, something ridiculous that is not easy to do. Or fall below 50% HP, but we're not, or 59%. Either way, we're not going to get it next turn. We're gonna get, I, I haven't memorized every unit. Every unit that comes out now has like a 10 page essay that you have to read to get through these units. So I'm just, you know, I miss the days whenever it was just, you know, like, Key plus three, attack 3,000 for the leader skills. That was a much easier time to remember. All right, we finally got this rotation that I want. Um, this is a huge buff for this kid, Gohan. So they share a ton of links. Um, Goku is not on Heavenly Events, unless I'm missing it here. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, but it's still, you know, they share a few links. In a sense, All in the Family Fierce Battle. And All in the Family being the big one that really just brings out the defensive value in both of these units. And they're both giving themselves like 50% or 58% support. So, you know, that's really good. Uh, Vegeta's stunned though, so it doesn't really matter who we put in slot one. I'll put Goku just so that we can get the orbs. 
Um, so we can get... I don't think there's a way to get the green orbs to fall, so we can just grab these and we'll just grab the... Oh, there we go. We can just get the green orbs for a little bit of extra healing. Not that we really need it, but... Wait, was he not... Is that Goku? Does he only stun for one turn? Am I forgetting how that works? Am I crazy? We, we did stun him, right? Like, I'm not insane. Is it only a one-turn stun? Am I losing my mind? Alright, well, it, it doesn't matter. We killed him, but... Uh, apparently, my brain is jello, so... Uh, don't, don't ever listen to anything I say. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we did. Is he stunning? I don't know. I am insane, okay? We'll just we'll just leave it at that. Let's go ahead and take out Trunks here. Keep Vegito alive. Uh, we can go ahead and get him out of here. Hopefully we get some dodges with Goku at the end, though. Right, we're, we're, you know, 2017 Big Bang attack. We didn't even make it to like turn four to get LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku back to school. It's crazy. Yeah, so like I said, this stage isn't super difficult, but it is one of the newer Extreme Super Battle Road stages, so I wanted to bring Goku in it. You know, I'm sure there's somebody out there that bought one of the ticket packs or just did a single and they pulled this Goku and they're wondering where they can use him. So this is definitely a spot. I like to do videos on all this content because I know there's still players out there who go, hey, I pulled on this banner. I have these units. Can you help me build a team? What events can I do? I see those posts all the time on the subreddit, occasionally on Twitter. So I think this is a good display of where you can use this kid Goku. Um, a lot, I know this team looks like a super whale team, but I mean, this Goku, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku super old. He's been on a ton of banners. I don't feel like this kid Gohan's been on a ton of banners. Maybe I'm just misremembering. But I don't think he's been around too often, but he is... Uh, when did he come out? Last year? Two years ago? I, I don't remember exactly when he came out on Global. I think it was tax season for me, so I don't... Let's see. What goes on during tax season, just we don't... The brain shuts off. Uh, but this Gohan... He's super old now. He's been on a ton of banners, and he's been available. If you bought, like, the beginner packs, you could select him with those tickets. So he's available. Uh, this god, Goku, I feel like they've given him out for free, maybe? And if not, I mean, he's a, just a banner unit on every banner. So he's not super hard to come across. Now, this guy, listen, if you don't have him, I, I get it, okay? He's been around once on Global. And JP at the moment, although he might be returning soon on JP. Um, so if you don't have this guy, okay, listen. Uh, we ignore him. You can replace him with several other units. The Goku's family team is not short on units. I mean, uh, let's see here. It's like uh, this grand, like the Grandpa Gohan you could probably get by with. Pan's new, but you could probably use her. Um, the Heroes units, I mean... You could probably get by with one of these two. I don't really like this Goku. I think he sucks. But, uh, you know, they are guaranteed featured, and I know people like to save up for heroes, so maybe you have them. Uh, we got this free-to-play unit here. They're okay. Uh, what else we have? This guy. People love this guy. You could probably just get by with this uh, free-to-play uh, uh, version Z Goku. Xenopan, again, another hero's unit. She can be used in here. She's got the dodge and the stun. And Namek Goku can survive. UI Goku has been on several banners now, and he can dodge. So, I mean, there are other units in here. There's also the free-to-play physical UI Goku. I don't see him. There he is. You can bring him. He's got a 50% chance to dodge. So, I mean, at the very least, that's just a filler option that you could throw on there. So let's go ahead and put Go the Path to Power Goku in slot one. Let's try to stun Vegeta with Gohan. And I guess let's just keep attacking this Trunks even though we're at type disadvantage here. Right, 
the double digits from Trunks and the dodge. Okay, now listen, you dodge that one, can you dodge this one? No, okay, well. Goku, you're not justifying my full dodge build. You're making me look bad in front of everybody. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get called out. Somebody's gonna tweet this to me. Nobody tweets me, but if they, if people tweeted me, they would tweet me a clip of that and then laugh at me. So you're not doing me any favors, Goku. Uh, this should be a pretty easy stage to wrap up here. We didn't get the stun, but he already supered, so I'm not too concerned. We have all in the family active now, so. Yeah, that kid Gohan. That kid Gohan's gonna be good for a long time. I mean, his active skill is still pretty easy to get in hard content. He does stack. It's not very fast, but if you can get a unit next to him with all in the family, he can definitely look you know, better. All right. Uh, we may get back to this turn. We'll see. Oh, we can revive. I definitely think we should do that if I can. Um, I don't know if we're going to, though. I mean, I, if I put him in slot one, we could, but I also just kind of want to win. Which, I mean, I... You know what? Let's do it. Let's just... Let's go for it. Let's do that. Let's do this. And... Let's grab... We're not even going to make it to you, so let's just get, grab these green hoods. Turn off my mic and turn off the audio and you think we've Alright, never mind. <laughs> we're just we're too good. <laughs> well, uh, that's good though. We'll still get to see Kid Gohan's active skills, so you know that's that's always fun to see. So let's go ahead and do you. Bro really couldn't crit. I mean, oh, we still get to see both actions still. Again, let me know if that audio is still too low, if I need to turn that up. I guess the nice thing now is we get to see Goku's defense. It's 466,000 before I even get orbs. We get 8 here. Let's see what it jumps up to. Oh, and we're going to get the break. 744. Alright, so he already has his passive. Uh, this just raises attack. So I think that's going to be his full defense for the turn, which is still really good. Um, if we had had, does he just raise attack on all of them? I thought he raised defense on one of these. I guess not. Well, anyway, that's still a really good defensive number considering he has like 30% damage reduction and, uh, you know, like gave the rest of the rotation support, well, him support and the damage reduction to the rest of the rotation, so can't really complain too much here, so let's go ahead and get the Dokkan attack. And wrap this up. Easy. Alright, so let me know what you guys think of Physical Path to Power Kid Goku. Uh, let me know if you summon for him, if you're enjoying using him, even as a friend unit. We should get the easy A's next week. So that should be exciting. Sorry, burped into the microphone if you heard that. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty easy no-item run of the stage. Kid Goku looked great. You know, we, we played for the revive and didn't get it, but that's okay. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.